Hello and welcome to this third day. What a night that was. I've just woke up, like, well, I've been waking up on and off, but I finally got up. It's uh, 10 to 10. What a night. That was proper, proper thunderstorm last night. Absolute torrential rain. Well, but at least I made it. And uh, I feel like I've got sunburn on the back of my neck. It's really, really sore. I didn't think to bring any sun cream. It's still a bit overcast today. But it's not raining, so I'm gonna have a bit of breakfast, pack up and um, work out where I'm going next. I don't think I'm gonna do the lake now. I think I'm gonna just slowly head back um, towards the hotel. I won't get there any earlier, but it's still quite a walk and I'm really, really struggling. I was in there trying to plan a route and eat my breakfast and it's raining again. Typical, I thought I was going to be able to put the tent down in, um, with it being dry. Obviously not. I really hope that you don't think I'm moaning too much about this part of the trip. But I'm just showing you what it's like. Oh, a really bad sunburn as well, is a picture of it. <coughs> um, I had to hold the phone behind my head and take this. But it is sore. I put some uh, snow on it. Hasn't really helped. And I was thinking about going for a swim. Because uh, there's a little lake just up behind me. But I've got to give that a miss now. I don't know if the camera's picking up, up, but there's the helicopter dropping off supplies. And that is why things are so expensive up there. And it's thunder and lightning. It's just gone from bad to worse. I'm really sorry, but this is ain't the kind of camping video that I wanted to be putting out. But I proper, proper put my back out. I've got no signal down here. So I'll pack everything away whilst I'm in the tent. And um, whilst it's raining. But because it's such a confined space. Trying to pack everything away. Um, yeah. I was doing that and my back was twinging. Wait to put my trousers on, and it's just completely gone. I mean, I really struggled to get. Well, I'm actually trying to look for my phone now, but um, I just saw my camera, so I thought I'll uh, give you an update. <sighs> and I just have to lay here for a bit. Wait, hopefully it sorts itself out. Then I can um, get going. Um, there's some of the noises I've been making in here because my back, if anyone was walking past, I think, what on earth am I doing in here? But I'll keep you updated. Whew. Right, um, <coughs> managed to sit up a little bit. I can't find my first aid kit, which I'll put my power seat moves in. So, the next best thing, what time is it? It's only half eleven, and um, my work colleague put me onto this Old Hopkins Spiced Gold Rum. And uh, I had some at home, and oh, it's really nice. So, I'm I need to just drink a little bit of this. Ease the pain. Cheers.
I'm not a spirit drinker, so. But I have to say, as far as spirits go, this is quite nice. Hopefully it's going to get rid of, uh, not get rid of, but hopefully that's my stomach, not my ass. Hopefully this will relieve the pain enough that I can just pack up and get going. Cheers. Sorry about my uh, moves. I think I've got to have a can of corner bag as well. Ow. That's, that's just what I mean, a slight little twist. And Should be good to go after this. Right, it's um, 12.30, it's been ages now, uh, the alcohol kicked in, and then I found my um, first aid box with my ibuprofen in it. So obviously because it's going to be raining, I'm going to be wearing these, uh, they're quite expensive actually, uh, DLX waterproof socks, I think. They were discounted at the time. I paid about 19 quid for them, I think. So, I'm going to give these a go today. Oh, my back is still hurting. Ah. But yeah, I ain't going to film myself struggling to get these on. But you get the idea. Right, it's now quarter past one. It's taken me forever. But I just can't help that with a bad back. That's where I was. So as always, leave no trace. Last time I see that place. Maybe ever, hopefully not. It's amazing, you can hear rocks falling. I think sometimes it might be the deer or whatever it is. Sometimes it just, I think, just loose rock. Clouds are rolling in over. I can still hear some thunder, but I'm now on my way. Right, uh, I'm on the move. This is spectacular. I mean, I know it's raining, but I've got all my waterproofs on now. Look how dark them clouds are. I can hear thunder too. So I'm just going to, um, there's like hailstones as well, some of it. Yeah, it's starting to get heavier now, so I'm going to put this away. I'm going to hunker down for a bit. As soon as this passes, I'm going to be climbing up there. And then hopefully it should all be downhill. So now I'm on the move, I feel a lot better, a lot better. Yeah, this is all part of it, isn't it? Love it. As long as I don't get too wet. <laughs> Ah, it's almost right up in the clouds. I don't know if you can hear the thunder or not. But yeah, that is black.
Uh, slowly getting there. I set up the GoPro to capture the clouds and the thunder coming in. I had to take shelter, there's like a little dip in the ground. I just got in there, laid low, waiting for the thunder and lightning to pass through. Now, the white clouds, I'm not that worried actually, but if you take a look here, can you see all that rolling in? But I don't think that's not a thunder cloud. Just absolutely amazing. I'm going to try and stop moaning about stuff now and just enjoy it. And do you know what? I'm enjoying it. Even though I'm soaked through to the bone. And I was a little bit worried about the thunder and lightning. It's an experience. And I can say that I now have had to sit out a thunderstorm on a mountain. And that's black cloud coming in, going that white cloud. And I'm gonna be at the top of there. My trusty walking poles, I'm never gonna take the mick out of anyone who uses them again. They have helped so much. Look at that, that's just amazing. The cloud is ascending up that really steep peak and obviously getting to the top where the wind's coming from the other side and blowing it back over. That's amazing. I'm right in the clouds here. <laughs> Look at that, that's beautiful. And I can't see much, but it's better than that real horrible hot sun. I'm enjoying myself a lot more now. It's blimmin' steep coming down here. Almost slipped up there. Well, I did slip, but I didn't land on my ass. Coming down all this. Like I said, it's really steep. But I need some going down here and not uphill. I'm uh, really enjoying it now. Look at that, the clouds have just gone in two different directions there. Cloud to the left is going to the right, and the cloud to the right is going to the left. This is just amazing. I love it. Switzerland cows with the bells around the, their necks. Can hear them for miles. Look at that, what a view what I would do to live here. Now you've got the waterfalls there. I really want to go down and uh, take a photo of that, but I think it's private land, the way it's fenced off. Unless that's just stop the cows going down, I don't really don't know. Um, but yeah, the waterfall goes down through there. I really want to walk down through that valley and down, but like I just said, I think it's private land, but it's stunning. Look at this little lizard. You know what kind of lizard it is. Just gonna leave him alone. Oh, whilst I've got your ear actually. I've not been doing much filming as you can tell because it's thunder and lightning, raining on and off. But I'm loving it. Just got to find somewhere to camp now. Got to walk down that, that's a bit sketchy, being slippery and all that. But according to the map, 
somewhere in that tree line this should be somewhere to get water um out like a fountain or something so let's go and have a look i've also on this uh particular video I've not been doing any walking to and from shots because I really can't be bothered <laughs> as much as I want to make this video for you lot it's about me enjoying being out here as well so yeah I've got a balance between the two I'm still filming some stuff but just camera held Look at these two. Don't know whether they're fighting or mating. I really don't know what to do. Um, there is. I'll come and show you actually. Walk over there. Wow, that's deep. There seems to be a water source. It's not on the map as a water source. Um, I am heading towards somewhere where there is a water source. I just don't know if that's drinkable. I can't see it being for livestock. Or could it? I really don't know. I think I'd better leave it. I'm sure it'd be fine, but I don't want to risk it. But I know there's definitely one up there. So, I mean, it looks fresh. You probably can't see it now, but there's a hut center of your screen. But the cloud has just started to roll in. And uh, there's a little outbuilding next to that. And I believe that's where the water is. So, I'm going to collect the water, then, next thing is, I find somewhere to pitch. What an amazing place. This uh, little tub thing in front of you isn't the drinking water. There's a hut just up there. And uh, there's a like I said, there's an outbuilding. So I'm going to go fetch some water. I'm currently inside some shelter out of the rain. It's so tempting to pitch up somewhere here. It really is. Um, yeah, better not though. I'll find somewhere around here. Well, just like that. It's just got so dark. Proper thick cloud. I'm so tempted to sleep in here tonight. You can't really see nothing. Hello, you lovely lot. I finally pitched up. Um, well, wild camping isn't legal in Switzerland and it's kind of acceptable if you're above the tree line. I'm in the tree line. But there's nothing else I can do about it really. So I'm set up here on a bit of a slant but it is what it is. There's no rocks underneath. I don't know if I mentioned to you yesterday, there's two rocks and they, they really hurt. It's right underneath. It's just really like quiet. 
misty. Right, let's go inside and see what's for dinner. I'm going to get that on now because I'm before it starts raining. It's very dark. Hold on. Two seconds. There you go. So, I've got last night's dinner and tonight's dinner. I've got a chili con carne with rice and uh, also pasta bolognese. I think I'm going to have the bolognese first then the chili con carne. And if I get round to dessert, I've got this vanilla dessert. I think it's just like a whipped cream kind of thing. And over here, sticky toffee pudding. I probably won't eat both of this these tonight, but I'll give it a go. I love this chair. Right. This guy, um, this spirit is absolutely horrible. Just blackens everything up. Like really bad. I better get some water, then I. I'm not actually sure how much water you need to put in this. But if I do too much, it doesn't matter because I'll use it on the next one. Okay. I'm really looking forward to this. Didn't have dinner last night. Obviously, because it was just tipping it down. And this stuff is bad. That ain't going to work. See, everything's just so blackened by the spirits. See if I can get this in better than I did the other night. I don't know why I struggle so much with that. There we are. Do you know what I'm going to do? Because of how much this stuff burns. Sticking it on top of that. Don't want to burn the ground. There we go. It would help if I got it all in, wouldn't it? Hopefully this won't burn the ground. Ah. Okay, so we now got the boil. Open the pouch and remove oxygen. Eat this. I'll put the mic on when I'm at. So 
Start with me, Jay. Oh, yes. Pinch the pouch at level four to mark the correct water level. Okay, to see that. They're pulling 300 mils, but I'm going up to the, uh, open the pouch out, forgot to do that. I'm going up to the level four mark. I'm not doing very well at this, am I? Looks like I'm there. Yep. Give it a good old stare. There's the thunder again. First time having a fire pot, this is. Right. And then leave for 15 minutes. And whilst this is being left, I'm going to go and do my chilli. Right, time for dinner number one. The sky lit up just a minute ago and I can hear thunder coming in, so might have to make a dash inside the tent. I'm looking forward to this. Show you inside a minute. So also, also past the bolognese. Don't know what also is. But, uh, Some bits are a bit odd. I think it could have done with a little bit longer. But it would do. Thunder and lightning is right on top now. It's hammered down with rain once again. So, yeah, time for the chili con carne. Don't know if you can see that. Well, it's really nice. I might have left it too long. So I've cooled down a bit. But that's nice. 